Hey, Leanna. Um, I told you I was going to try to make a daylight video this week, and today I actually can, but it's not the one I expected to make. Um, if you might notice, my lip is a little swollen right there. And, um, well, I have a story for you. Yesterday, Sophie and I were driving home from Northeast State. We, you know, were taking dual credit. And the speed limit was 50. We were going 50. Sophie was driving. She was going as she should. And this massive truck, it was bigger than one ton. It was huge. Mom had a name for it. But anyways, it's like a size up from one ton. So it's massive. We were in her, Sophie's Jeep, which I forget what it was called, what kind of Jeep it was. Um, but he didn't see us pulling, or he didn't see us driving down the road. We were going completely legally. And he was at a stop sign. And he started to roll forward and sometimes people, you know, roll forward to get a better look at what's coming. And well, Sophie and I both assumed he was, well, he didn't stop. He just kept rolling and pulled directly in front of us. Um, we slammed into the side. Um, and we had less than a second to react because he started to roll forward. We were probably less than 40 feet away. Probably, yeah, probably less than 40 feet away going at 50 miles an hour when he started to roll forward. And by the time we realized he was not stopping, we had like less than a second just to scream before we slammed into him. And um, the good news is both Sophie and I are fine. We're really sore today from like whiplash and my lip swelled up randomly like... I don't know, an hour and a half ago. I don't know why. Um, our knees slammed the dash. My legs are pretty sore. Um, we thought I'd have to go to the doctors today and look at my legs, but they seem to be doing better than yesterday. Um, no one was seriously injured. The guy was in this massive truck. He basically, um, a piece of Sophie's car, a shrapnel shard stuck in his front left tire. We hit the left side of his car or of his truck. And, um, so basically, if he had a smashed fender, probably got a bunch of scratches on the side of his truck, and then that tire was completely punctured. But if he changed his tire, he probably drove away. Um, he's making deliveries for some business he worked for, um, delivering uh, trusses. He was really nice. As soon as the crash happened, he immediately um, climbed out of, or, you know, jumped out of his car and was checking on us and told us, he's like, oh, I'm so sorry. It was all my fault. And he told, he told the police that, which is really good because we've heard horror stories of people, you know, pulling in front of you. We've heard about people pulling in front of you and then saying it was you and you weren't paying attention and, you know, they were within their rights and all that. So the fact that he was so honest and told the police the truth and, you know, didn't, he wanted us to be okay and he wanted Sophie to not, you know, he wanted Sophie to not get in trouble for anything. So because he knew it was his fault and he was very honest. So we were very thankful for that. And um, this is probably shaking a ton. I hadn't even thought of that. Um, well, my plant lights will do bad backlighting. Anyways, um, so he, um, so he crashed, and it was funny. The instant after he hit his truck, um, first thing Sophie and I did was we looked at each other and then just sat there, like, maintaining eye contact, screaming. It was like a cartoon. It was really, it was actually quite comical in hindsight. And then um, Sophie called 911, and the guy came barreling out of his car, and Sophie and I, the first thing I said was, get out of the car because I have a graphic mem or a graphic imagination and I was like oh it's gonna explode which it didn't explode um so long story short um Sophie's truck or not truck Sophie's jeep is completely totaled the front end was completely smashed um and the guy was really great we were there for like two hours which Sophie and I did not realize we were there for that long um mom and dad came and picked us up um, it was very, very <laughs> dramatic. Um, my thumb just got in the way. Um, he was really great though. And the police came and, um, his insurance is probably going to, or his insurance will cover it. Um, and so that's good. And 
So we're, we're look, Sophie's looking for a car and mom and dad were looking for a car for me to drive because I'm so busy. Um, so now we're in the market for two cars and we're down a car. Any, we were down a car anyways because our truck died. And then we were also down a car because, no, no, that was it. Now we're down two. I'm sorry, I don't know why I thought we were down two cars. Um, so yeah, that's the drama in my life and we're really sore today. Sophie is doing, Sophie got out of it better than I did physically. Um, her face was really puffy. She has like um, some cuts on her face where her glasses, the rims of her glasses got forced into her cheek. So she has some little cuts from that. Then her lips have like scab, have some scabs on them from the airbag, the texture of the airbag, which my lips have that tiny bit. You can't even see it on me. She has more um, because I'm taller than her. So the angle of that was more in her face but um since i'm taller my knee slammed into the dash and my shin and then i've always had problems with one of my hips and that was really sore yesterday and um then i cut my gums somehow up here um like the joint of the lip and the gums the um or where they join together the we think the airbag either like forced my lip up and like scraped under there or just the force of it just ruptured down there, but um, we're doing all right. <laughs> so neither of us have driven since. Um, this was yesterday morning, uh, Monday morning, about ten thirty, and um, yeah, it was rather it was rather scary and dramatic. And um, I did discover though, glasses lens do not shatter in car crashes from airbags, at least, or at least these ones don't. These are like some special plasticky substance. I don't know about real glass and. Um, I also now know what airbags feel like, which is like so fast, you don't even, it's like you kind of have a memory of touch, something touching you, but it's so fast, you just kind of feel the pain of being hit in the face by this pillow, um, or very rough, high velocity pillow, I don't know. Anyways, very dramatic. Um, Sophie's car is totaled. The guy probably drove away once they changed his tire and put his airbags back in. Um, but he was great, he was fine, and all things considered, we were in a Jeep which was off the ground, and his truck was tall. And if we'd been in a smaller car, we do not like to think about what may have happened. Um, but yeah, we're doing okay. His truck was fine, and we it, it did occur to me, of anyone we could have had pull out in front of us, it was the best possible person, because it he, first off he was really honest but also it wasn't like a family it had there was no children in the car there was you know it was a big truck it was basically fine it just was dented and needed a new tire um so like we could have caused it could have caused worse damage to us if we were in a smaller car but if it was any other car we could have caused far worse damage to them so yeah that's my story and i hope you're doing well and I hope you haven't had any crashes this week. And okay, I hope you're doing well. Goodbye.